Today we have another short video. Today we are going to be talking about how we can use bullet physics engine with Maya's native fields. Uh, and uh, we are going to be doing this pretty quickly. So we'll see how we can use uh, these fields that uh, we have already used with RBD and NCLOP. So now usually bullet uses its own solver, the bullet solver, and it has its own uh, gravity and everything since it, uh, it has a solver. So we'll see how we can use our own native solvers fields to go with the dynamics of bullet physics engine. So I'm gonna start by taking simple cube and um, let's create some copies of this. Control D, this out and shift D. Right, I'm gonna select this, Control D, bring this down. Control D and Shift D, Shift D. All right, so this is what we have. Pretty nice looking cubes. So what I'm going to do is quickly select all of them and go to Bullet and Active Rigid Body. Now I'm not going to create any collider for this. So I'm just going to use the Solvers uh, Collider, which is Ground Plane. So if I play this now. As you can see, the cubes are falling down and we have our own ground pane without using any other separate colliders. So here what you see right now is the bullet has its own solver. That means it has its own gravity. Similarly, like we have a nucleus in our end cloth and rigid body dynamics. Similarly, bullet has its own solver, which is uh, acting, uh, which is allowing us to make this cube fall down using the gravity. So what if I want to use these with bullet? So I cannot do that if I want. So that we ha only have to do is use this check mark, use Maya fields and that's it. So when I check this, if I go back and play this, you'll see nothing happens. Because right now in bullet, we are using Maya's native fields. For that, it's not going to be using this gravity anymore. So what I'm going to do is quickly select these and um, gravity all right so we have 9.8 and if i go back play this again all right so there you go so now we can work with maya's native fields which is pretty amazing because we have a lot of different fields that we can do we can uh, create vortex and uh, here you start to see that we have something like this motion so what i want to do is get rid of the gravity and we have played around with fields a lot of different times uh, but this is just to show you how you can use that with bullet so I'm going to select again all of these and maybe add a Newton and a Newton is basically an attractor. So I'm going to take the Newton and bring this somewhere around here. And let's play this. So here, as you can see, Newton is acting as an attractor. It's trying to pull all the cubes towards the Newton. There you go. Uh, so what uh, the other thing that's happening right now is the cubes are kind of going into the deep space uh, and we are trying to prevent it. So what we, are, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be using another field which is the drag field. And it's just going to add some drag here and let's play this. And I think the drag is too high. So there you go. I'm going to make this 15 and I'm going to get rid of the vortex field. And just to add some randomness to the animation, I'm going to do is I'm going to take some turbulence with the value of maybe like 15. And yeah, there you go. So now it looks something like this. So let's maybe increase the value a bit. So now you have something like this. So there's a lot of different ways that you can play around with our bullets and our native fields. There's a lot of different variations that you can do and uh, maybe decrease the drag. If you want a faster animation, you can decrease the amount of drag and you'll see that you have much faster. Maybe let's lower this down even more. And there you go. And if you want a higher pull of Newton, what you can do is just increase some value for the Newton as well. And now Newton will pull these cubes even faster with much strength. Uh, so that's it for this one. Uh, this is how you can use uh, Maya's native fields with bullet. 
and I think it's a great thing that we can use this field because there's a lot of different things that we cannot do with uh, just a solver's own field. Alright, so that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.